My name is Styx, otherwise known as Jack, and this is our story of how Kyle and I became Fortnite pros and the road that we traveled. So I first want to start off by talking about how Kyle and I's relationship has always been. And you know, it's been very caring. You know, he's he's a lot younger than me, but he's always been the same size as me. And you know, you're being the older brother and you're in seventh grade, he's in, you know, going into fourth grade and he's as tall as you, it's like is this kid a giant or something? Or am I just short? And my whole life, you know, I'm pretty average height now, I'm 5'10", and you know, he is obviously, if some of you have seen him, he's like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, now. So my whole life, I've treated him as equal to me. I didn't really treat him as a younger brother, I treated him as a friend. And you know, we were brothers, we argued, we fought, we wrestled, you know, one time he punched me in the mouth and I threw him into the wall and broke the drywall, but that's besides the point. What I'm trying to get to here is, even though he's four years younger than I am, three and a half, whatever you want to call it, you know, we're, we're best friends. And we have been ever since we were younger, uh, we've always supported each other in anything that we do, any endeavor that we take on. You know, if I, if I told him tomorrow that I don't want to do this anymore, he would support me. And I'd be the same way with him. And we've just been, We've just been the closest of buds ever since I can remember. I've done a lot more experiences than he has, and I think that you know having both sides of the story is really helpful because, you know, I got into this when I was 19. You know, I was old. I was in college. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, I had just you know stopped playing baseball collegiately, and you know I was still taking classes, but I found this game Fortnite, and one of my friends Ryan and Nick they they introduced it to me. And, you know, ever since I started playing, I literally became addicted to it. We would just, you know, get on at night and play for hours on end. And I remember, it'd be like 4 in the morning, I'd check my phone, it's like 4 a.m. It's like, dude, I have school in the morning. You know, I'd have to get up at 6.30, get to my 7 a.m. class. But I think it's the love and drive for competition and being the best that has always taken me farther than other people in any endeavor that I take on. For some of you that don't know, I, I played baseball my whole life. You know, I fell in love with the sport when I was younger. And if there's one thing I can say is that playing baseball up until college, winning a national championship in college. Yeah! Yeah! Is that baseball has taught me so much. You know, it's, it's really helped me grow as a person. It's helped me know what's right or wrong. You know, just certain decisions I make, I look back and think, hey, you know, I can relate that to baseball. And that's always where I've came from as an athlete is baseball taught me, you know, a numerous amount of things. I'd, I'd say that's why it was my favorite sport is because you can learn so much from the game, just from watching the game, not even playing it. And, you know, we talk about baseball and a lot of people just think, oh, you just hit the ball. Like it, when you move up and you're playing college baseball versus guys throwing 92, 93, 94, you know, that's, that's a different ball game. You know, you have to swing a bat and hit that thing moving. Sometimes the pitch moves, you know, curveballs, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, I just, I just loved baseball, man. And I was damn good at it. <laughs> I was ready to come back my sophomore season. You know, we just won the championship. We're already ranked number one in the nation. And I did that off season, but something didn't feel right. And I didn't know what it was, you know, I kind of just went through a little rough patch. And I remember telling myself, there was one day before practice, I was just up on the stairs before there. I lived at home, it's, it's really close college. And I remember telling myself, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, it, it turned into a job. And I, I didn't want it to be a job. I loved baseball for playing. I didn't, I didn't want to spend 12, 15 hours a day doing it. You know, I would go to class and get to my 8 a.m. class. And at 11, I would go hit, do extra lessons and stuff. At two, we had practice on the field until about seven, come home, scarf down some food, and I was back in the gym. You know, I'd lift two, three times a day just to, just to be there, just to be able to compete with the big boys. You know, I was always younger, and I, I put in so much time and effort, and I think I just burnt myself out. But not playing that year has made me who I am today. If you want something in this world, you just outwork everybody else. You just do the most that you can do in 24 hours. 
and come back the next day and do it again. And with that determination and mindset that I had, you know, I went from being about 205 pounds as a junior, all right, trying to play baseball. I'm like 5'7", 5'8", at the time. And I cut all the way down to 120. And that was, you know, that was a pretty big jump for me. And just showing myself that I can lose 80 pounds in a span of over just one year, you know, it kind of just taught me that I can do anything. You know, I've kind of included that into Fortnite where I, if people are saying stuff about me, oh, he's a bad player, all that kind of stuff, you know, I don't care. You know, I'm going to outwork you. And if you don't work harder than me, I'm going to pass you. And that's kind of always been my mindset in sports and competition. You know, I'm a fierce competitor. And if I lose, I'm not happy. And for some of you guys who have been to my streams, you can know that even if I die in an arena game, I'm mad. You know, I'm not like throwing shit, but I'll bang my desk. You're a fucking loser, dude. <laughs> At the end of the day, I just love competition. I remember, you know, getting that first PC and competing and Kyle actually, I told him, I'm like, I'm gonna buy you a PC, man. Like, I wanna do this with you. And he was playing on PS4 at the time. Obviously, you're a little limited on console, only 60 frames, all that stuff. So, with streaming, those first few months, you know, I didn't have that many viewers, five, 10 viewers, maybe. Um, I was still working at the baseball facility, going to class and stuff. And I ended up saving up another about 800 to a thousand dollars, and I spent it all on a PC for him. And I got him a PC, and the rest is history, man. That's kind of where we've been, you know. The financial struggles obviously go into it, but that's not what this is about. This is about going through those hardships to prosper at the end, to find a way to do it, no matter what the cost is. You know, both of us have chased this. This is our dream. You know, this is, this is something that whenever I tell somebody that I play Fortnite professionally, their face always lights up and say, that's a kid's dream. And I say, I know it is. You know, I, I literally live the life that people want to live. You know, I live in Virginia with Fishy and Rex and you know, who, who wouldn't want to do that? I'm surrounded by so many great people out there. We have so many friends, so many acquaintances we've met through Fortnite. And this whole thing has really changed my life and I can't thank you guys enough for that. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting both of us, myself and Kyle. You know, for supporting Optimal as an org. We've, I've been in Optimal for about six months now. I wouldn't change it for the world. And I just, I really don't know how else to thank you guys. You know, my older brother Andy is a huge role model for both of us. My friend TJ, since literally day, as long as I can remember, he's been my friend. And even Kyle, you know, you, you sometimes look to the people closest around you and see that, you know, there's something in them that you want to aspire to be in your life and I saw him become great at music I saw him become great at anything he wanted to be you know and it, it might seem like he's just good at stuff but I promise you man he is one of the hardest workers I know and I aspire to be like that one day and I take everything that he does seriously always support him but I'm always trying to learn you know I'm trying to learn from the people around me and I've always had so when Jack and Kyle first told me that they were gonna go pro with Fortnite, I didn't know what to make of it. Jack had been a college athlete playing baseball and all of a sudden he just wanted to stop playing baseball because he said he was so good at the uh, game. I didn't understand what he was saying. I've only known Jack to be competitive and to always go all in. So I figured he was good at something and wanted to pursue it. Um, it took me a while to understand how good he was until he started showing me his social media feeds and what other people were saying. Um, and then just started kind of seeing him start to win some money. That That's where it starts to have you realize that it is a professional sport and that they can do something with it. Hi, I'm Carl. I am the father of uh, O.A. Sticks and O.A. <laughs> Who Fishy. I am extremely proud of these gentlemen for pursuing their dreams. When it came to the thought of moving out to the East Coast to be more competitive, it was merely a sequence in the strain of things they had to do to become as good as they are right now, and I had no issue with it and never will. 
to me, when you have a young man in your life or a young lady in your life as a son or daughter that actually believes in what they're doing so much that they want to commit 24 hours a day to it, I think there's no better path to success. Their uh, commitment, their passion, and what they do to try to be the best they can will take them far in any endeavor. And to me, gaming is a popular product right now for younger individuals, specifically from what I'm seeing, that gives them something that they can believe in to join the business world. Not just playing, but actually being in their own business, branding themselves, bringing themselves to the forelight to the level which they want to. So I think they're really doing well. And I understand that thousands of people are following in that suit and pursuit as well. And this is a great thing for our society because today's youth needs something they can believe in that is not something that their mom or dad told them might come true when everything else we told them probably doesn't. I think I have spent the most time one-on-one -on -one with Jack because of his travel baseball, the amount of hours we would spend in the car uh, when he was younger, driving to games, having um, you know double, triple headers, going out to eat. And But some of those are my favorite memories because to see Jack as the quiet leader at the time, um, somebody called it white line confidence, that Jack was always quiet. He wasn't gonna talk about himself and how great you know he could be at the game. But when he stepped on the field, you saw he was a general and took charge. Um, when he was, I think it might've been when he was 10 or 11, we were at a place where he was doing his um, tryouts for baseball for the next travel league. And a coach came over and he said, hey, 99, you're my worst nightmare. And we figured out that Jack had thrown out three of the guys from his team the game before the tryouts. So as a parent to have that, I think that that's the thing that Carl and I have missed the most because Fortnite, we don't really watch like we did the actual sports. Um, but I know Jack, I see his tenacity as far as even in Fortnite. And when he would do baseball in college, he was never home. He would leave home at eight in the morning, go to school, take his classes, go work out with the team, eat dinner, go back and hit and lift, and come home at like one or two in the morning, get up the next day and do it over and over again. That determination and persistency is going to take him far in whatever he wants to do. So we just see that the sky is the limit for him. Um, Jack is not one to try to do something if he doesn't believe he can break that ceiling and, and be successful. And successful to him is very different than maybe successful to other people. Um, I just see that and I think that the world is starting to see that positive person who believes in everybody else, who wants everybody else to be good because he knows as a team player, you're only as good as your weakest player, as my husband used to say when he was coaching. So if somebody wasn't very good on the baseball field, Jack would always go out of his way to help that kid get better because he knew that was the only way the whole team would get better. And I, I kind of hear that and see it through some of his social media posts and things like that. He's always cheering on people because that's who he is. Is this any different really than buying baseball gloves or baseball cleats or anything else? So for those of you parents out there that aren't too sure exactly about whether or not your son or daughter is serious about this, ask them a serious question, what their ultimate goal is. And if they don't want the best equipment or the best opportunity or the best exposure, they're not too serious or they don't know about it because Jack knew it right off the bat. He knew what he needed. He knew what the next game level was. He knew how he was gonna get involved in it. And he had gaming going on all his life while he was also getting to be a straight A student and playing sports. So I think it's part of the nature of the person that knows they wanna be a gamer. And that's what Sticks is all about, a leader from the beginning on, a team leader. He wants to have his own team. He ultimately wants to be the man in this industry. And I think he will be because he pursues it to that level. Kyle was a little different because he, isn't like Jack where Kyle is very quiet and doesn't say a lot of what he's doing. I didn't even know he was actually playing a lot with Jack until one time they won, got second place in a tournament and they won tons of money and Kyle actually said he was excited about something so I knew it was something cool. Uh, it was a little difficult for me with Kyle because he was so good at music as well. Very, very talented. Uh, we thought that's kind of where his future was going to go. When it comes to Hufishi, I also was able to 
coach him a little bit in football and various other things as a young man. But more importantly about Hufishi, he's different than Jack. He's different than Sticks. Hufishi is a monstrous producer. Hufishi doesn't question, he just does. His ability for hand-eye coordination makes him a pro. He has a God-given ability that most people don't have. He's six foot six, and his fingers are longer than everybody else, and he loves hand-eye coordination games ever since he was a kid. But he never stuck to something he didn't believe he would be outstanding as. He also is an outstanding musician. Most people may not know that, but the fact is it's about your hands and coordination. The man is extremely talented. He says very few words, but when he speaks, people listen. My name is Kyle Splutt. I'm a 17-year-old professional Fortnite player, and I used to live in Wheeling, Illinois, but now I live in Ashburn, Virginia. Growing up as a kid, since I was the younger brother, I never really got a chance to play video games, so I would always watch my brothers play video games and kind of learn from them, so I was pretty much father doing before it was cool. When we were kids, and we both started getting into video games, a lot of times we would play like sports games like NBA 2K or NHL, and whenever we would play a sports game, Jack and I, we were, we were pretty even as uh, competitors in those games, but whenever I would win, he would always rage off and turn off the PS3, which is what we had before the game ended, so it technically didn't count as a loss for him. I was definitely a rager. Um, whenever Jack and I would play and he would win, I, would, I always get a little bit mad. Um, for this one instance, Jack must have won a game or something and I got really, really mad because he, he always taunted me. He was definitely an instigator and somehow it ended up with a book in my hand and him standing in front of a TV and I ended up throwing the book right at his head and him being the athlete he is, he ducked and it went right through the TV. Um, glass everywhere. Parents were a little mad about that one. And then, um, but now I've learned from my mistakes and um, I'm just, I don't tilt anymore in game, so it's helped me, it's definitely helped me a lot to learn from that. I think our relationship has definitely grown as we've gone on this adventure together. We've come a lot closer, we don't really fight anymore, we kind of just help each other out with whatever we can, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So when I moved to Virginia, everyone thought I was kind of crazy because I was just a high schooler going out to Virginia just to play some video game, but they kind of started to realize as my stream grew and as I started placing more that this is like a real thing and my parents started to support it more, but they've always been supportive throughout the whole thing, so. Thank you so much for supporting me and Jack and everything that we do together and our adventures, and here's to 2021 and many years more. Thank you, guys. Try and what pictures are you giving them? Whatever scent, well, I, if you were helping me, you would have known. Well, I'm busy screaming. Have you ever seen all the stuff in all mom's scrapbooks? Yes. I've if there's a picture of both of us, that's it. All right, so there's stuff of us playing in the leaves, us playing tennis ball. Okay, that helps a lot. Okay, us, me and you just looking at a book, me and you learning together, reading together. We never read. Huh? Um, we don't read. Um, like, like tennis ball, like, what do you mean tennis ball? Like, we used to play baseball. So there's a picture of us playing with football together. It's really cool. Okay, we'll talk about that. Say another thing that we used to do. I got, I got.